doing here today is we're going to hang the big switch. I wish to show you on the short pole here. But you're going to do, be doing both when you're doing the class or when you're doing the exam. So you got the small switch to hang and the transformer. The small switch to hang by itself, that measures crossovers, and the big switch. The big switch weighs about, what do you say, right about 30, 40 pounds? Yeah. 30, 40 pounds. So there's a, there's a technique to get it done. I'm going to go you get some more of these. Everybody should carry an eye nut, a couple washers, and a couple nuts in your nut bag. But this is a great thing if you want to position the hand line somewhere where you've got a nut to use, you can put that on the uh, threads, of, threads of whatever and hang your hand line on this so it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. What you need to do is take check the switch out before you go. And make sure it, it's ready to roll. You definitely, that was not ready. You got to have two bolts and two nuts on it. And you want to make sure on the switch itself that this top nut, y'all gather in a little bit. See how this top nut is? Yeah. All right. You want it right about in that position right there. And hopefully you never have to tighten that one. All you have to do is tighten the bottom nut on this one. Okay. So that was right about the right position. This is called the back plate on it, and that's how it will work. Okay. Who's going to be my grunt? Just I'm grab it. Okay. All right, let me get my tools on. You're going to open that hand line up for me. You found a hand line without a snap on it, but we'll go with that. <laughs> The only tool you're going to need here is this box wrench. You want me to do it while you go the wrong tool or you good? Climb up to do this. Doesn't matter which side of the cross arm you put it on. You've got to be outside of the brace. You can do it without taking the braces off, it's pretty easy. Make sure you're in a position. You want to be in a position tight and up a little bit to where you're able to keep your elbow close and get the switch up here like this. You don't want to be reaching from the middle all the way over here. That, that switch is going to pull you off. It's uh, pretty heavy. Go ahead and put your eye nut on. <coughs> and you'll see, I know you guys have seen some of the ones that are already on there out there. That's what it's from. <coughs> Make sure it's fully threaded. Hang your hand line. And tell your grandma to send the switch. Now I like it Let's see which rope you got there you got the snap in you do great just pull it all off the end of the hook if you want to Walk it over here, uh, Kevin. I like to take, you see how the foot of the switch is at the bottom, the, bra the uh, brass part? Take the snap and hang it in the, there you go, right there. So it's going to be sent to me upside down. So when I get it up to me, hold on to the rope and the switch at the same time. I'm going to transfer this over to my belt 
so I'm able to position it and I'm going to just use my belt as a tail. Slack off. Good job. Take the bottom nut off. Now so I don't have to reach back and forth into my glove bag, just make sure you don't knock it off. Put it up here inside the brace. Pick it up, hold the switch from right here. You see where I got this middle? That's balance of it. Take the back plate, throw it over the top. Grab it. As long as you hold pressure on this back plate, the switch will not fall off. Okay, you guys come in a little bit closer so you can see this is real close. As long as I hold this back plate, the switch won't go anywhere. I'm gonna hold it thread the bolt through. The bolt head has got a square in it and the square fits right in the hole of this right here. I might tighten this up just a little bit. Didn't work too much. Alright, as soon as I get it through, what I'm going to do here is press and I call it kind of spanning, spanning the switch. You see how I've got my thumb on the head of it? And my finger holding the plate, don't let go. Put your nut on. I'm holding pressure with both thumb and finger right here. Okay. The other wrench. Takes the big one. That's another little practice thing right here. If you get used to, if you get a nut that's loose, you can hold tension on the ratchet if you put your fingers on the black part. Tighten it up. Oh. Don't be a star, Robbie. the top up. And what we will do during the test is we'll ask you to shake the switch. If we see any movement in it, well, I'll fix that. If you see any movement on the cross arm, it's too loose. That's it. Any uh, comments, questions? All right, taking it back down is just the complete opposite. <coughs> Loosen this off. The other loose. Get it kind of real nice and loose. If you see that back plate move a little bit, you know you can put your finger on it. Press it. Then you can do it by hand. spot I had it before, take the black plate, back plate, and just roll it towards me. Put it back in my belt for a table. Put my nut back on if I need to. I'm going to say, hey, send me the snap. Pick my switch up. This is important here. Hold the rope and the switch. Otherwise, this is going to come out. Huh? See, I'm holding the rope. Down. Oh. Hold on one second. Don't like the way 
holding. There you go. All right, get off.